Hello, THSC family. Are you ready for some good news? Because I have plenty to share with you. My name is Anita Scott, and I'm the director of public policy for Texas Homeschool Coalition. Now, about three days ago, you received an update from Jeremy Newman, our VP of Policy and Engagement. And so I wanted to do just a quick recap of some of the bills that he shared with you as well as an update because at the time one of THSC's legislative priorities was still on the Senate floor. So I wanted to bring you a quick update. So I am going to read some of my notes because I have four bills to update you on. One, HB 819, that bill has passed. It is headed to the governor's desk. And HB 1819 results in repealing Texas statutes that currently allow counties, cities, and municipalities to approve ordinances that establish daytime and nighttime curfew for juveniles. The legislation also explicitly prohibits local government entities from establishing those curfew ordinances in the future. Headed to the governor's desk, HB 3993, that's another one of THSC's priorities, serves as an administrative correction to ensure that college admission for homeschoolers continues to work as it has since the law was amended in 2015. Now, this bill, HB 3993, amends the top 10% rule to clarify that when a public institution of higher education in Texas is admitting students using the top 10% rule, it should calculate class rank for a homeschool graduate according to the formula passed by the legislature in 2015. HB 3993, headed to the governor's desk. Now, you'll remember that in 2021, THSC passed the UIL, meaning University Interscholastic League, Equal Access Bill, otherwise known as HB 547, which allows public schools to opt into allowing homeschoolers to participate in UIL sanctioned extracurricular activities. This year, THSC supported HB 699, which clarifies how HB 547 works. This means that HB 699 is now set into place and it prohibits the UIL from adopting a second set of conference classification criteria, a criteria that would bump schools into an inaccurate UIL conference based on homeschool participation, which would inevitably discourage school districts from allowing homeschoolers to participate. So HB 699 now puts into law that all Texas schools, should they choose to allow homeschool participation in UIL, they have to maintain their current conference classification. And that's HB 699, headed to the governor's desk. And then the last bill, HB 3708, provides support to the public schools who have taken on new students through HB 547 from the 2021 legislative session. So HB 3708, this is exciting. It creates an allotment to help cover some of the overhead costs for UIL participation by providing a specified amount per student per activity. Now, this bill passed late Tuesday night on the Senate floor. So it now is headed to the governor's desk. So those are four of THSC's legislative priorities for this year, and I couldn't wait to share with you. And I will see you this coming week in Houston at our convention.